So last week I was doing a live stream and the internet at the venue was pretty slow and I faced the dreaded problem of video audio lag during my live stream. Of course, I managed to resolve it due to a function within the A10 Mini that allows me to introduce a delay to the sound coming in. I did a video on this a couple of years ago right here and I thought I'll just revisit this topic and add on some personal experiences that I picked up during my live stream jobs over these last few years and share them with you. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph. I run a production house here in Singapore doing photography, videography, live streams and basically everything tech. Welcome to my channel. Latency is defined as a measurement of delay in a system. Network latency is the amount of time it takes for data to travel from one point to another across a network. So a network with high latency will have slower response time while a low latency network will have faster response time. Of course, everyone aims to have a low latency, right? Well, right. In an industry which is more relatable to us, live streaming, latency is a very common issue that occurs during live streams. Simply to say, the audio and the video don't match, which is something like this. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph. I run a production house here in Singapore, doing photography, videography, live streams, and basically everything tech. Welcome to my channel. Now let me explain this in the simplest way possible. For live stream setups on the A10 Mini, usually we take the video and audio sources differently. Meaning to say, we connect our ports to our cameras to capture the video, but we take the audio from the venue sound system or mixer or from the PA team. So for our video to be sent from the camera to our A10 Mini, these videos are sent as data packets across the network, usually via HDMI cables and the sound packets will be coming in from the sound source. So to explain this in simple terms, the reason for this delay is because the sound is traveling faster than the video due to the simple fact that video data packets are generally bigger than sound data packets. So now that you understand the basic reason for this video audio lag, let me show you a few ways to reduce this latency problem during your live stream. Avoid using wireless systems in your setup if you can because remember I mentioned earlier about data packets being sent from the camera to the A10 Mini where your live streaming station is at. If you do it wirelessly, it just takes longer to send wirelessly. It's just like connecting your computer to your Wi-Fi network. It's always faster to use the LAN Ethernet connection, the cable, than using the Wi-Fi, right? Even though we're talking about fractions of a second, the longer the live stream runs, the more exponential this effect will be felt, maybe one or two hours into the live stream. Use fiber optic cables in your setup. Because light moves faster than electricity, the transmission of the signals via a fiber optic cable provides much better performance than a normal HDMI cable. However, the downside is, Fiber optic cables are more expensive than the normal copper HDMI cables. However, if your budget allows for it, why not? Optimal length cabling. Meaning to say if the distance between your camera setup and your A10 mini is 3 meters, use a 3 meter cable as much as possible. If the distance between your laptop and your A10 mini is 1 meter, just use a 1 meter cable. Don't use a 20 meter cable and let the rest of the excess cable twirl up on the floor. Because the longer the cable, the longer the time it takes for the data packets to be transmitted over, which may and likely potentially cause latency problems. Last but not least is to use the built-in audio function in your A10 Mini. This function within the software control allows you to introduce a delay to the audio coming into your ATEM Mini. So go to your ATEM software control panel and go to the audio tab. Click on the little arrow icon here under mic1 if your audio source is connected to your mic1 port. And then you can adjust the frame delay by turning the knob. You can go to a maximum of 8 frames delay. So what happens here is currently you hear the person talking before he actually mouths the word, right? 
So with this delay, the sound is put back in frames to match the video. There's no hard and fast rule to how many delay frames you should set. What I typically do on set is to set it to one frame, check the multi-view monitor to see if it gets better. If not, I just turn it up to two frames, check again and adjust accordingly. Once the voice and the video matches, I leave the delay settings on. With that said, if you are watching this video to try to learn how to set the delay on your ATEM Mini and you are trying to use your mouse to turn the knob on the software control, yes, you are not the only one that is having problems with it. Always I feel like I have some big psychomotor problem doing that. Not sure why Blackmagic Design created this knob turning thing on the software because maybe they are trying to mimic a real life mixer with delay. You know where everything are physical buttons come on bmd if you are watching this video let us have the ease of setting it with the ability to type in the number of delay frames one to eight so if i want a one frame delay i just type in one enter and done please no not turning on my controls especially when it's on a software using a mouse because during a live stream and you realize that the video lag is happening, the video audio lag is happening, last thing you want is to look like an idiot trying to use the mouse to turn the knob while your client is breathing down your neck behind your back watching you operate the 8 Mini. So there you have it. How to solve your latency video audio lag problem during your live stream using your 8 Mini. If you have your own tips to share, do let me know in the comments below. So I can create another similar video to share more tips with other users in this channel. If you enjoyed the video today, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more future videos like this. Anyway, before I go, again, just a quick shout out. I've just created new social media contents dedicated to this channel on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. So do go ahead to give it a follow as I'll be posting short form content on them pretty soon. And thanks for the support. Until the next video, my name is Steph, take care and 